Hey YouTube, uh, remember my coil gun from my other videos, the 1,320 volt coil gun? Well, I finally put it into a pistol. The only thing, it's not exactly finished yet, I don't have a battery pack, so it's not exactly one-handed just yet. I have to hold the battery on the desk in this case so I don't get shocked, because it might shock me. Last time uh, I tried removing the battery out of the camera. It fucking shocked me. I don't know how, but it did. But, um, but yeah, I pretty much used that same charging circuit I was using in the prototype gun, that really small circuit right here in the pistol grip. I got the holes drilled right here on the side so you can see the light light up. I didn't go with moving the light out like that. It's really hard to cram all those wires in there because it's some thick wire. And it doesn't really like to bend easy. And I didn't really feel like cutting it down. So it was pretty difficult to get it in there. But, um, got the original air gun trigger, it's got my switches, I found some Legos to put on the switches, so it basically turns them all into one big switch, so now I only have three switches instead of seven switches, like I did in my previous video, and uh, let me put the projectile down, I'm holding the projectile, but uh, pretty much uh, I just gutted the Lego, and it just fits over the it just fits right over the switch up like that and so I won't forget I labeled that, that's the parallel circuit for charging and that's for series for shooting and uh, I got this down here painted so I know that that's on and it's flipped down it's on but um yeah and uh, I got this little bolt action so I'll show you that uh, I had a daisy power line the shorty broke, so I used shorty's bolt and a uh, little chunk of nail. And uh, I use that power line bolt because it's got that magnet on the end, so it'll keep my ammunition from falling out. Okie doke. And the gun charges in about 30 seconds with a fresh battery using the good quality batteries. The radio vac is actually pretty good. Um, let me put this on my phone on the vice right quick. That way I can charge it. It's the same charging circuit too, like the switch is modified. And this comes off the switch and you have to touch this to the negative. I'm gonna get a push button switch that I'm gonna mount on that I'm gonna mount on the back. That way you don't have to touch this wire to the negative. That way you'll just pretty much squeeze the back like a safety on a Colt M1911. But um, I'm going to go ahead and charge this up so you can see it. So I'm going to flip this in the on position. And I'm going to flip this switch over to the left. So that way it'll charge. gun is charging. Waiting for that light to come on. Damn it. I accidentally let go of the fucking charger or the fucking battery. And I don't know if you can see it right now because it's during the day, but I can see it. And the gun's charged, the light's lit up. So now I'll flip this switch off, switch this back to the right, and then switch this one to the left. I got to put my damn target up. There you have it. Coil pistol.
and uh, that's the coil right there, right in here. Uh, yeah, there it is. You can see it right there. But yep, that's the that's the pistol. Get a battery pack and a push button switch for the charge, the charging unit, and uh, it'll be perfect. But yep, that's it. Oh yeah, it also weighs about a pound. So just so y'all, if y'all were wondering how heavy it is, it's about a pound. But um, yep.